Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to logarithms and as usual I'll timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can just skip through to whichever part you want to see. And so to start off with to introduce logarithms we're just going to look at some questions. So here are the questions. And so the first one is we have 10 to the power of x equals 1000 and we need to solve to find that value of x. Okay. And very briefly here's some sort of terminology just in case you're unfamiliar with it. So this number up here or this value we're usually calling that the power or the index. Well, you can also call that the exponent, okay? And this number on the bottom here, we call that the base, okay? And that's just gonna be useful to know for later on in the video. So if I asked you to solve this to find that value of x, well, you could probably do it in your head and you'd tell me that it's three, so x equals three, pretty easy. If we had two to the power of y equals four, again, you could probably solve that quite easily and tell me that, well, y is gonna be equal to two. Things get a bit trickier though, if we have three to the power of z equals 531,441. If I asked you to solve that, you'd probably have to do some sort of like trial and improvement method. And the same goes for 10 to the power of p equals 501.18. So this is where I'm now gonna introduce the logarithm to help me solve this, okay? And to do that, we're firstly gonna go back for, to the first two examples, and that will hopefully show you what it means if we take the log of something. So first example, we've got 10 to the power of three equals 1000. We could write this in an alternative way using logarithms, okay? So I'm gonna write it out and then I'll explain what it means. So we could write it as the log of 1000 base 10 is equal to three, okay? And what this is saying is, here's what logarithms are saying, we, we're saying that if I have 10, what power do I need to raise it to to give me 1000? Well, I need to put it to the power of three, okay? Or my exponent needs to be three. So that's what the logarithm is saying. And so let's take a look at this, this second example. We've got two to the squared is equal to four. How could I write that in terms of a logarithm? Well, I could say the log of four base two is equal to two, okay? So again, it's pretty easy, I think, when you know. It's just saying, well, what do I put two to the power of to give me four? Well, two to the power of two or two squared. So it's pretty easy. So here's how we're gonna use logarithms to answer question three. We're saying three to the power of z is 531,441. Well, if I wrote that in terms of a logarithm, we would say the log of 531,441 base three, well, what is that equal to? And whatever that is equal to will give me the value of z. So how can I answer that? Well, you're gonna to have to use your calculator, okay? And luckily there's a button on your calculator for this, and it's this one here, it says log, with a little box that's colored in, and then an even bigger box. And so I'm gonna push that button, okay? I'm gonna put in the smaller box, which is what the base is, three. And then I'm gonna put in the bigger box, 531,441. And if I do that, it gives me an answer of 12. And so therefore, three to the power of 12 is equal to 531,441, okay? Let's now answer this second or fourth question. So we've got 10 to the power of P is 501.18. And so if I wrote that out, I would say the log base 10 of 501.18, well, what's that equal to? And now I'll introduce you to another button on your calculator, which is the one that just says log. It literally just says log. And that button is if we're taking a logarithm in base 10, okay? So if you're in base 10 or your base is 10, then you don't need to use the big, bigger logarithm button the one that's like just there, you can just press that one there, the log button. So I'm gonna put log of 501.18. And if I do that, it gives me 2.6999999. So we'll put 2.6999, whatever, whatever. And so therefore my value of P is equal to 2.699999, okay? And so that's what logarithms are. And one sort of brief look into how they can help us solve questions. And so if I write sort of it in a more general way, we can write it like this, we could say, if I've got a to the power of x equal to b, well then that means that the logarithm of b in base a is equal to x, okay? So that's what logarithms are saying. And so really you can think of it as taking the logarithm of something, it's kind of the inverse to taking the exponent of something or putting something to the power of something. They kind of undo each other, okay? They're just inverses. And so now let's look at two more little things that we can find about logs quickly. So if we're taking the logarithm of a in base a, well, what's that equal to? Well, this is just asking me, what do I put a to the power of to give me a? Well, that's pretty easy. I put a to the power of one. And we can also answer this second one, which says, if I've got 
the logarithm of 1, base a, what's the answer? Well, what do I put a to the power of to give me 1? Well, that's going to be 0, okay? And so we can use these new facts to answer these two questions below. And so if we're looking for the logarithm of 42 in base 42, well, that's just going to be 1 because 42 to the power of 1 is 42. And the logarithm of 1 base 12, well, that's going to be 0 because 12 to the power of 0 is 1. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. And go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.